So whenever you want to post a picture to Instagram, you want to hit the plus button on the bottom and your camera roll is going to pop up. You can choose the picture you like. If you hit the sizing button on the bottom left, it'll size the picture if it's a different ratio. If I select the middle kind of icon, it's going to download actually another app that Instagram makes where it can make turn pictures into a grid or different layouts. I don't need that right now. Or you can do select multiple. And this is where you get that post where you can swipe to the right or to the left. I'm going to turn that off for now too. I just want to post that picture. You can also on the very bottom, you can do photo where it'll take a photo or you can do video where it'll take a video. So I'm going to go back to library, have the picture I want. I'm going to hit next. And you see this screen that comes up. You can hit the arrow to go back on the top left. I'm going to go back to next. You can hit the sun on the top. And that's just going to tell you the kind of the contrast of the picture. I'm going to kind of leave it the way it was. Actually, I'm going to hit cancel. On the bottom, you have a lot of different filters. You can play with those, um, see what happens, see how you like the picture. I actually already had this picture edited, so I am not going to use any of these. Let me go to normal. I'm going to press edit just so you can see something real quick. This is kind of a quick edit. Instagram offers this if you think your picture is crooked or if you want to make it a little 3D, you can. So you see it is cutting the bottom. The picture is not big enough. So I'm going to hit cancel. Brightness, contrast. All of these are kind of like self-explanatory vignettes where the edges are going to darken up. Cancel. Sharpen is going to reduce some of the blurriness of the picture. I don't want that. I kind of want it a little, a little softer. So I'm going to go back to filter. Um, if you did make any changes, you see them here. I didn't. So I'm just going to hit next. And it's going to take me to this where um, I can add a caption. So I'm going to do tag a friend. Dot. You can tag specific people by going here. You tap wherever you want them to show up. I'm going to tag myself and I'm going to put it right in the middle. I'm going to hit done. You can add a location if you want. You can search or you can do something close to you. You can, if you have connected your other social media profiles, you can turn them on or off here and these buttons. Advanced settings will allow me to turn off the comments. I remember the first person to use this was Justin Bieber or one of the reasons Instagram made this update when he was getting a lot of negative comments and he ended up deleting his account. I can also do at the very top, you see, you do new post or you can DM somebody. I'm gonna leave it as a new post and I'm gonna hit share. You can see it's posting. And there it is. So I have it on my profile. And then the next thing I'm gonna teach you is how to do stories. So with stories, you can either press the plus sign here, and it's gonna take you here, or I'm gonna go back, and I'm gonna do the home button, and you can swipe right, and then you get that screen. Now I wanna post something for my camera roll. I don't wanna take a picture. So you can swipe up, and see, there they are. I can use the same picture I just posted, but you see the ratio is off, so I'm gonna X that out. I'm gonna use this other picture. There we have it. If you swipe left or right, just like Snapchat, you get filters. I actually want to use that soft filter. There it is. I'm going to use the softer filter. And if you tap it, you'll be able to type. I'm going to do a line break here. If you grab it with two fingers and you kind of stretch, it'll get bigger. If you condense your fingers, it'll get smaller. I'm going to stretch it. Actually, I'm going to have it lining up against the trees. There we go. Once you're in this text mode, I'm going to select all. And if you hit the alignment button on the top left, it'll change the alignment. I'm going to leave it centered. If I hit the A in the middle, it's going to add a background to that. I actually do want that white background. And if I select the bottom, it'll change the color. I like that actually. So I'm gonna hit done. 
going to leave that as is. And I can add the smiley face here and tap that to get either a location or a hashtag. And a lot of different memes that Instagram offers. Let's see if I'm going to use one of these. I'll do the I'll do this one. Okay. And then the pencil get a lot of cool different effects. The first one is essentially just a marker. You can do, change the color of it here. You can do undo on the top left. If you select this triple dot to the very left, you're actually changing just how wide the pencil is or how thin. You see the difference. The second one is a highlighter. It's going to be a soft, a much softer actually. It's actually transparent. The other one is not undo 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 the third one is kind of a magic wand it's actually my favorite it has a glow undo make it smaller you change the colors too by swiping or you can do this last one which is an eraser and it just erases over the pencil and not necessarily the entire picture okay so then you get it done and then you, you can either post by tapping your story here on the bottom. You can save it to your camera roll by tapping here. Or you can hit next. And this will allow you to send it to either an individual person or you can post it to your story. Hit send. So now you can see that's in my story. So other people will be able to see it. Or I can go to my profile, select that. And people can also see it that way. You see now we posted a picture and we posted to the story. Last but not least, if you go into your picture, there is a few different things you can do here. You can see that there's someone tagged. And if I tap the picture, it's it's, it's me. Um, it gives me the option to either show this on my profile, hide it from my profile, more options, remove me from post or report. This is more important if someone tags you on a picture that you don't want to be tagged in. Remember, if you go here, you can see all the pictures you're tagged in. So let's say this is not a picture I want to be tagged in. It has nothing to do with me. I can just tap it and hide it from my profile. Or you can even block the person if you don't know who that person is. I can like my own picture if I want. I typically don't. I can comment on it if I want to. This will be a secondary comment. So I can do hashtag shop, for instance. And there it is. I can also bookmark my own picture if I hit this little airplane I can DM it to somebody I'm not gonna do that if I hit the three dots on the top right I can archive the picture I can turn off comedy I can edit which it takes us back to that screen that we were in before where I can just add it the main comment I can add a location and I can either tag more people or remove the person I have tagged I'm gonna hit cancel and then I can also share it it tells me kind of what comments you want to share and if you want to share it on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, you can email it to somebody or you can copy the link. So you can say something like that. You can change the comment and say, check out this awesome pick. And then you would do how you want to share it and hit share. Go back. If you hit the refresh button, it'll just tell you who else has liked that pick. There's six people that have liked it. Go back to my profile. You see the people that like the pictures here and they'll show up as it populates and that's how you post content to instagram